So the easiest way to get started with making a website in RStudio is to first click on file in the top left corner and click on new project. And once the dialog box opens up for us, we're going to go and click on new directory. And instead of clicking on website using blog down for now, we're just going to click on new project. And we're now prompted to name our directory because when we're making a new project, we're making a new directory. So you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it for now, my site. And we're going to create the project. So after we created our project, we have uh, a similar uh, layout that we had earlier with our studio, but now we have a separate directory to be working with and building our website. So now we have to go and make our site. So that could be done by simply writing in the console blog down, two colons, and we write new site. So once uh, blog down has built our website for us, we will, we could see in the viewer window on the right hand side, a preview of what our website looks like. So we have a, a standard template that Hugo has and we uh, have uh, just a layout of, uh, of links where we have an about page, we have a home page which takes us back to the first page that we were on. We have some plain markdown po posts and we have a GitHub and Twitter link which takes us externally online to uh, our studio's GitHub and Twitter, I believe. So if we open up a uh, file in the top left corner and we open up open file, we see now in our directory that we have a variety of different files and uh, directories inside our directory now. So before I get into that, uh, let's go and introduce the live reload feature. So what this means now is that your website will be automatically rebuilt in your web browser, or in our case, the viewer, when you modify and save any source file. So basically, when your website is launched in your web browser, or in our case, the viewer, you don't need to explicitly rebuild it every time you make any changes. So to go and see this in action, let's look at a file that we can go and change where we'll look at open file and we're going to go click on content and we're going to click on the post and let's just look at lorem ipsum. And if we click on the markdown file in that directory, we see uh, just uh, a standard post over here with uh, with uh, some text here, which is um, illegible uh, as far as uh, I can see. And the viewer takes us automatically to that page. So if we, we can either go there manually by going back to the home page and clicking lorem ipsum. And let's say we want to get rid of all of this text and change it with uh, whatever we want. So all I need to do is just highlight the text here and write hello world and I could save it. And there you have it. And let's say I want to go and change the title. All I need to do is just change up on the top in the title argument, uh, what I want to say. So I could say, hello world. And we save it. And there you have it. And the same thing goes for the date. So if we look back now at our homepage, everything is now adjusted. So in the next video, we're going to go get a better understanding of the files in our directory. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a bunch.